Hey, what's up guys? My name is Brandon Middleton. I am the founder, visionary, and strategist of Noveo. And we are recruiting not one, but two people for TikTok. All right, so if you haven't seen any of our other videos yet to, to know more about who we are and what we do, the, the quick and dirty is that we have somewhere around like a dozen health and wellness consumer product brands in the US market. Um, so that's dietary supplements, skin care, or really personal care, tea, healthy sweeteners, and organic superfoods. And we have a pretty much entirely vertic vertically integrated team, meaning we do pretty much all of our work in-house. So we have somewhere around in the range of like 50 to 70 people. And uh, we have our own manufacturing facility in Tampa, Florida, which gives us a lot of flexibility and adaptability to seize opportunities in the market, which really brings us to our core competency, which is launching new product brands and then launching new products across all those different product brands. And so we've built pretty much all of our success on Amazon, specifically in the US market, amazon.com, because our bread and butter is we have a very, very successful launch sequence so that we can launch a new product really like every week. I mean, if we wanted to, we could launch them even faster than that and get them from, you know, in the hole with investment to break even to profitability very quickly. But uh, we are mostly centered around Amazon. So Amazon marketing and all of our strategies really just kind of lead to increasing Amazon traffic increasing our ranking on Amazon, getting good reviews, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And we are in the midst of making a big push to start working a lot off Amazon, at least generating the traffic off Amazon so that we can uh, own the traffic because Amazon doesn't let you own your own traffic. And so a big part of that is TikTok. And I was going to come out right out and say, so my business partner, Derek, went to a Amazon focused mastermind, actually specifically is for dietary supplement uh, Amazon brand owners. And several of them were talking about this massive amount of success that they've been having on TikTok. Because ultimately what ends up happening is not only are they blowing up sales on TikTok, but because the, the American market just really loves shopping on Amazon and ultimately buying on Amazon because it's really fast shipping, we already have these paid membership accounts, easy return, like easy returns. Um, you know, you can see your order history all in, in, in that account. So keeping all your orders together in one platform is really nice. So basically what ends up happening is not only are they crushing it on TikTok through the TikTok shop, but it seems like the market that they're doing for every sale they get on TikTok, it seems like they're getting an, another sale on Amazon from people seeing the, the marketing on TikTok and then they jump over to Amazon search for the product, the brand, and then buy on Amazon. So we are both interested in blowing up our TikTok shop and primary focus really is always, well, not always, but for now, sending the traffic to Amazon. So this mastermind actually gave us a pretty detailed plan of attack or a map in the exact processes that they use in order to succeed on TikTok. So we we have the we have this in basically recorded video, and you know there are some details that aren't in it. You know it's not like a an exact step by step by step process, but we have a pretty good consensus on what needs to be done, and we do actually have uh, one person full time social media that is mostly focused on TikTok now, but we we really need to scale her. Uh, she's doing a lot by herself. And so what we want to do is we want to create a creator community and we've actually already built the, the branding for that community. So basically, you know, because we have so many product brands, like I said, it's, it's somewhere around like 10 or 12 right now, but the game plan is to launch a new brand like every six months. Well, because we have so many brands, yes, of course, we want to create a community around each brand, but really before that, the priority is to build one collective community that we're calling the Giving Tree or TGT, which would be both a community of creators, of high level influencers, and also 
just everyday consumers, because even the everyday consumer, especially being that we're Amazon focused, can create a lot of value for us in the realm of UGC, but really, you know, the big thing is Amazon reviews. So we want to create TGT to bring all of these people together, but the, the, the big focus right now, especially in relation to TikTok, is the creator community side of this. Now, the mastermind was for dietary supplements specifically, and so uh, all the guys that presented on TikTok said that they build their communities in Discord. Now, I'm curious if Disc Discord is the right platform to build T the TGT community because we are not just dietary supplements, we also have cosmetics and personal care, which tends to bring a, a more female audience. And so I'm just not sure if, I, when I say I'm not sure, I mean literally I'm not sure if Discord is the right place to build a community that integrates a lot of women into it. I view, t uh, excuse me, I view Discord as being a more masculine or at least more male platform, but I don't know that to be a fact. So, um, in your reply, try to remember that little note and tell me what you think about that because ultimately we're going to want to choose a platform, Discord, Discord or you know whatever, to build this TGT community, the Giving Tree, th so that we can bring creators into the Giving Tree and allow for them to basically pick and choose which of our product brands, we call the Phoenix brands, the collective of our whole portfolio of product brands, um, they can choose which Phoenix brands they would like to work with or, or all of them. You know, that's, that's fantastic. They want to work with all of them. And so what we're recruiting right now is, and keep in mind, I'm, I don't even have TikTok myself. So you know more about TikTok than I do. So when I'm telling you what I know we need, there's probably actually more that we need than what I'm going to communicate right here. And so again, please take a note of that because in your reply back to us, the more you can communicate how much more you know than I know, the, the better chances that um, we'll want to invite you into our Noveo team. So anyway, the skills that I know we need is to attract these creators through, you know, whatever our incentives are going to be. Um, we need to manage the, the platform, the, the community itself, educate them about products and brands and all that stuff, and organize them so that everyone is essentially marketing the same product or the same brand at the same time. Not necessarily like literally every single person because again, people are gonna choose different Phoenix brands to work with. But for those that are working say with our, our main cosmetic brand, we would want to make sure we're managing them properly so that we are taking advantage of like a mass push on a new product launch or something like that of that, of that specific brand. So management, so finding the creators, all things managing the creators, you know, building the incentive structure, um, providing the, the content, or at least like the, the brand guidelines and such that we want them to be discussing. And um, yeah, I guess just really giving them whatever amount of direction that we ought to give them to ensure that they are creating the most valuable content for us. Uh, making sure that they're on whatever posting schedule that we agreed to, which from what I understand is at least one post per day, um, per brand. So if we have a creator working for multiple brands, we're gonna want them to be posting one post per day per brand. Um, another little tip that came from this mastermind, and I'm actually not sure what the reason is, so if you know what this reason might be, please share, show, show your knowledge. But uh, we, we were taught that instead of having the creators themselves, well, using their own personal creator accounts, their own TikTok accounts, we actually want to create a branded, so one of our, so our Phoenix brand or TGT, we'll have to figure out what's better, uh, creator account. So, you know, my name's Brandon, it would be like a, a Brandon TGT account. So basically creating a brand new account and that's what they would be posting through. Now it'd still be the individual themselves you know, it's not this general TGT account. Each creator is going to have their own individual TGT account. Or again, I don't know whether we're going to do TGT accounts or specific Phoenix brand accounts. Um, again, that's something that you could talk on and, and inform me of what your opinion is. But um, regardless, that seems to be the, the move. 
And to me, I'm actually kind of curious about why that would be because in my mind, it would probably be more effective if the creators were using their personal creator accounts that have already generated content and you know all that stuff. The only thing I can think of is that we would there if if we're creating new accounts, we would therefore get to own the account, own the asset. Um, you know, because creators might come and go, but we can always own the accounts. But I have a feeling there's probably more to the story than just that. So whatever you can think of, um, I'd love to hear your opinions on that. So anyway, there's the management of the content, the management of the of the creators, the payment schedules, all that stuff. But uh, then the other side of it is managing the TikTok shop itself, or really our 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 brand's TikTok accounts. So the TGT TikTok account, but then for sure we'll have it, well, we already have a TikTok account for each of our Phoenix brands. So the management of those, which means you know creating new accounts as we create new brands. Um, I guess there's, I guess uh, one of the things I know uh, is you need to get to what, like 10,000 followers before you can do something. I'm blanking right now. I think it might be you know sharing links or something like that. So the mastermind had ways about how to get to those 10,000 followers, but they also said it's not really the most important thing because again, we're trying to send the traffic to Amazon. So the call to action in each post is go find this product on Amazon. Yes, of course, some will still buy it on TikTok, but the real call to action is sending it the traffic to Amazon because that fits into a broader strategy, a bigger picture strategy than just being successful on TikTok. Um, so anyway, yeah, if you know how to, to get you know, followers fast, then share that bit of knowledge. But again, the, the mastermind, I, I, don't, I don't remember what it was, but the mastermind did have a solution for that. Um, oh yeah, back to TikTok management. So we, we have not yet been approved for fulfillment by TikTok, FBT. So using TikTok's distribution system you know, for supply chain, where we send our, our inventory to them, and then whenever we get a sale, they distribute it. We've not yet been approved for that, but presuming we you know, get approved for that soon, uh, it would be nice to find someone that has knowledge working with, uh, with that. We're used to Amazon. I'm sure it's not too different. You know, the Chinese comp companies pretty much just copy American companies exactly anyway. Um, so I'm sure it's pretty similar, but nonetheless, it would be nice to have someone that has that, that knowledge that's worked with FBT before. Um, I know getting violations is something that just like every TikToker or every TikTok shop is dealing with. So knowing how to try to reduce getting those violations and then how to, I guess, remove them um, so that stuff isn't getting suspended would be a huge plus. So, you know, please talk on that as well. And um, yeah, I guess maybe that's, that's anything that else that you can think of on what I would call the account management or like the administrative side, you know, please discuss that. But then back to the creator side and the, com the community side, you know, talk a little bit about your strategy for how we're going to attract people because the, the mastermind taught us you want at least like really close to around like 50 creators per brand that are all posting every single day. And so, you know, being that we have, let's just say 10 brands, you know, that means we're going to need 500 creators. Well, although, you know, some creators will be working with multiple brands, but nonetheless, we want to scale this really big. So what is your strategy for finding those creators and, and bringing them in to uh, the giving tree? And, you know, you don't have to necessarily give away any secrets, but the more you can communicate to me about, you know, that you are going to be able to you know, hit the ground running, you know, as soon as we onboard you, um, solve whatever problems we have, then the more likely we'll be sending you an invitation to, to join our team. Um, all right, let me make a little pause here and try to think through any other little details that would be nice for you to include in your response. One sec. All right, so the mastermind also discussed that uh, a lot of the content does not, does not even have to be front facing, does not even have to have a human in it. And you can still be insanely successful without that. So 
Uh, they're doing a lot of AI generated content. And I actually, so I don't use TikTok myself. So I know they talk about starting with just doing slides. Not even sure what that is. <laughs> but starting with slides and then uh, getting more and more complex content along the way. Um, but so you basically you want to mix between faceless accounts and uh, I guess front facing accounts, we would call it that. So tell me a little bit about your knowledge, like your strategic knowledge in potentially, you know, actually creating faceless accounts because what this mastermind, what, what, what they've had success with is they actually teach their creators how to be better creators. Um, and they actually send them through a course on how to do that. And we don't actually have that, that course. So we're going to have to, you know, find creators that, that know what to do, but realistically, we're going to have to reverse engineer it and build our own course to send our creators through. So tell me a bit about your knowledge in creating the faceless accounts, um, and creating content with the faceless accounts and how to actually make them successful. Cause even on Instagram and YouTube, which I, so I don't use TikTok, but I use uh, Instagram and YouTube. I see a lot of faceless accounts that are just totally AI generated, but it, I really never see much traction with those. There's never really a lot of views. I mean, sometimes there is, but it seems pretty rare. So there must be some kind of trick to making that work, or maybe it's just more successful on TikTok. And again, I'm just not on it, so I don't know. But uh, talk a little bit about that. So talk about the, the slide strategy, talk about faceless uh, account strategy. Um, talk about like what is working in terms of the front facing, so actually having a human in it. Because from what I understand, even just like really garbage content will sometimes go viral. It really just seems, uh, the way it was presented to us is that it's really more of a, a numbers game than it is a quality game. So just trying to get shit tons of content out there uh, versus trying to perfect the content. So, okay, so that's, that's several things for you to talk about. And notice I don't really have too many specific questions. I really just want you to dump your knowledge to me um, to make me feel confident that you would be a huge asset uh, to the team as a whole and um, really that you would be one of our core values is autonomy so that you would be fully autonomous in this role that we wouldn't have to teach you anything you would come teaching us stuff and also be able to, to hit the ground running with execution so again that's working that's finding the creators building incentive systems for the creators man all things managing the creators managing the content production the content schedule. Um, yeah, how do you how do you keep the morale high of the creators? What platforms have you used for working, or not working with creators, but basically building the community? So again, Discord is what um, everyone in the mastermind was using, but they're all dietary supplements focused. So I'm not sure if that's the the right platform for us, or maybe we need multiple platforms. I do not know. Um, then there's the TikTok account. Admin, all the admin stuff and uh, yeah really just anything that you can think of that would um, really make us feel that you're the perfect fit so yeah if you have any questions that you, know, you could ask um, in order for you to create a better response then feel free to ask we're, we're pretty quick with our turnaround any questions that you might have but um, I'll do one last pause here, make sure there's nothing else. And uh, yeah, let's give me one sec. Oh, I do have one last thing. So I understand that you know, one, of the, one of the big issues with TikTok is that trying to manage the accounts, the, the business accounts, the creator accounts, et cetera, et cetera, from outside the US is apparently a huge pain in the ass. So. You know, it'd be fantastic if we could even create a creator community that's not only Americans, because you know Americans obviously are going to be a lot more expensive. And uh, well, there's just if we can open up to the whole world, then there's going to be a lot more creators to, to access. Um, so if you know of any ways to build a 
creator community that's not only American, but is you know selling in the U.S., then that would be awesome to talk about. And especially on the faceless account side, because you know we certainly shouldn't need Americans managing the faceless accounts, with the exception of whatever this tech issue is that that TikTok uh, has in place that makes it difficult to manage these accounts outside of the U.S. And then. Um, we are currently managing our, our business accounts from outside the U.S., so I guess we, we mostly have that. When I say the business accounts, I mean like the, the Phoenix brand accounts. Um, but I know it has been a, a pain in the ass for, uh, for our team member that's been doing that. So I'm not exactly sure what the solution ended up being, but if you have any other ideas for solutions along those lines, that'd be great to talk about as well. All right, one last pause, but I think I'm pretty much done. Okay, you know what, last, last two things is just kind of a heads up on the, uh, you know, when we're gonna, our application process, our recruiting process is we, we build a short list of people, which is usually ends up being like around like three or four people that we, you know, take to the next level with more discussion, more questions, all that stuff. Um, but one of those things before, for a job offer is to build, uh, we ask you to build like a 30 day a little bit more of a detailed 30-day plan um, to show that you know you'd be able to hit the ground running, and then uh, a little bit more general, less detail for a 90-day plan. So like an additional 60 days. So if you want, you'll you'll have an opportunity to do that you know later in the application process. But if you really want to stand out, if you want to communicate a little bit about that, then then have at it. And then uh, separately, you know, the only last little thing is that. Uh, I myself am wanting to get into content creation a little bit more than I have been. And so I want to, like currently I don't do really any content for the, the Phoenix brands themselves, but I want to change that. It, it's kind of fun and I also think it would be you know, pretty, pretty valuable letting the, the CEO and founder uh, posting content. So I would say another like, little small facet of this role would be to give me content direction on the type of content, the things I ought to be discussing stuff like that uh, for, for each of the brands. Now, I'm not asking you to do that right now because you don't know that much about each of the brands, but I'm just giving you a heads up that that'll be like a little tiny part of this, of this role as well. And if there's anything that you have to discuss on that, then have at it, but um, yeah. All right, so really appreciate you, appreciate you watching this, almost 25 minutes. Uh, really look forward to your application. And uh, you know, feel free to send me on, a message on, on Instagram if you wanna say hi, all right? Take it easy.